Hello there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. And once again, we're coordinated in plaid. <laughs> um, it's a little cold here in Texas, so the plaid and yes. the flannels are out to stay for a little while. Absolutely. And coming at you from the dining room. Um, <laughs> We have a really fun episode today. Yes. Because, for two reasons. First off, the show pony <laughs> is going to do a pour that he's never done before on the I channel. Know. I know. At least I don't think I have. I don't think you have either. Yeah, I don't I think, think I have. I think I've only done it a couple of times. And it was because of the Meet You Maker Showdown. You guys asked to see an angel wing. Yes. So the show pony is going to do an angel wing. I am. He hasn't watched any episodes he's done no research he's done no <laughs> studying so this is an angel wing hopefully it might come out looking like something nice. else. well i have seen mina do an angel wing a long time ago hmm. when we first started watching her hmm. but it was like yeah it, it was over a year ago I it think. was a while ago yeah. so yes um there's a few out there olga solby mina Villegas. Um, I think even Nate Bright has an angel wing paw. Oh, really? So yeah, there are people out there that do them. They're not very, they're not very prevalent. It's going to be a really interesting paw show pony. Yes. I'm using TLPs. Oh wow. This little piggy pigments. Yeah, I have a secret recipe that has been concocted by Mina Villegas. <laughs> it's like the Colonel Sanders recipe <laughs> for fried chicken, but I know it. It's crazy. She's she's allowed me into the inner circle. You guys will get allowed into the inner circle on Sunday when she airs her episode. Yes. And she'll tell you exactly how she does it. My lips are sealed until then. But I'm using her recipe, and I've got to say, in the cup, as I've already mixed them, these colours are crazy awesome. I've got cinnamon, Jeremy's stripper name, <laughs> and tail feather, which actually was the song Shaky Tail Feather that he used to come out to <laughs> in his stripping days. So, um, yeah, cinnamon and tail feather are the two colours that I'm going to be using for pigments today. It's going to be real fun. So, um, yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Yes. He's a little echo in here, but um, hopefully you can hear us fine. Let us get to the table. Please join us for a couple of pours. Awesome. Let's, Let's do it. We'll see you at the table. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am excited about today's pour. And I, you know what? I'm really excited about doing this angel wing. Have you ever done one of these? I have not done one of these. Okay. I don't think I have. I'm, I don't think you have either. Yeah, I don't think I have. Right. I know so, I've done a couple of them. Yeah, you've done a couple of them. So this is going to be really interesting for me to do this. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to try it. Um, I got my colors all picked out. I got an 18 by 24 inch canvas right here. Um, it's tight like drum. Tight like drum. And, uh, and let me introduce you to my colors that I'm using today. Please. So, okay. Staple in this, uh, in this, Studio of ours, this 24 karat Deco Arts Metallics Gold. I love it. And if you yes. need any Deco Art colors, you can find them a yeah. link in our description box. Yeah, we're affiliates. Um, I'm using this grayish blue by Amsterdam. It's gorgeous. Lovely. Gorgeous. I'm using greenish blue by Amsterdam. Also another beautiful color. I love that one. It's very yeah. similar to the turquoise phthalo that it we is. use from Golden. It is. Now, also, I'm using this iridescent white by Liquitex Basics. And I'm also, it's mixed with a little bit of Color Flash white mm -hmm. by um, uh, Folk Art. And there's a little bit of satin enamels in there also. Yes. Um, but also, Payne's Grey by Golden's. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So you've yes. got just the five colors today for this angel wing. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Good, good, good. And uh, I'm gonna use my Goldens, empty Goldens pot here to elevate my canvas with. Awesome. Okay, so, yes. so if anyone's not seen the angel wing, explain it to them. What is the process? Okay, the process is, is that it's kind of like a straight pour, uh -huh. but it's at an angle. Okay. So what happens is, is as I straight pour it, it's gonna run down the canvas, yeah. and then I'm gonna stretch that out. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that you don't pour it straight? that you actually go backwards and well, that's forwards. What, that's, that's what a, a straight pour is. You go backwards and forwards a little bit. Okay, yeah, Yeah. that's exactly right. Okay, 
<laughs> to me, a straight pour is just that. You pour it straight out of the jug. Got it. Yeah, but an angel wing, to create the wings, the folds, yes. you're constantly moving your hand forwards and backwards, backwards and forwards. That's what creates the wings. Got it. Yeah, so similar to a straight pour is in that you're not ringing, Yes. But it is a little different. Well, there you go, ladies. Thank you, the everyone. The definition of, a, of, a, of <laughs> an angel wing for. I'm a bit surprised because I don't think that you knew that. So I'm glad I mentioned it. Otherwise, this would have been a straight pour. Uh, this, shows the, this shows the difference between how Jeremy and I learn. Jeremy just throws himself into it. Brave as anything, but just, just goes for it. Whereas I, I will for it. research and research and watch and look and listen and research and then I'll do it. So, uh, yes, very different yes. techniques. I just jump right in and let you my do. creative juices flow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to layer my cup. I have this big, huge cup. Now, this is a 32 ounce cup, but I'm only gonna be using 20 ounces of this for this canvas. And are you gonna lay it down the spout or down the, spout or down the side? Down the spout. Okay, good. So I'm gonna start off with this Payne's Gray. Okay. That is going to be the... Now we don't have a completely clear jug right now. No, we don't. Our last one did break. So I apologize that this one is a little frosty. Now my gold is very full. It is. <laughs> so I have to be very careful about like how much gold I put in there. I think that was good though. Okay. I think I did good on that one. Love it. Um, next I'm going to go with this greenish blue, which is stunning. Nice healthy pour of that one. Okay. Next I'm gonna go with this beautiful white. I'm only gonna do a touch of that. But this is like, a really big jug. It is. So. I do love big jugs. Big jugs, and you cannot lie. I know. But they're good for big pours. They are good for big pours. Nice healthy pour of that one. Then we're going to go back in with. And repeat, I guess, to rinse, somewhat, right? Rinse and repeat. Are you going to keep using the gold? Um, I am going to use the gold. Okay, good. Yes, yes, I am. That was a nice healthy pour of that. As always. <laughs> we do love a lot of gold. <laughs> Intentionally or unintentionally. I'm trying to see where where I'm getting to. You're way off right now. You've you're at just under eight ounces. So if your intention is to get to twenty, you're not you're not quite halfway there yet. Okay. I am sitting here holding my breath as I do this. You're holding your breath as you lay your colors. As I layer my cup. Adorable. You're just short of 12 ounces right now. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's out of the gold. I'm all, yep, that's it. I'm like, there's so much in here. I'm like, is this really a 20 ounce cup here? You're 16 right now. You're getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going to use all this paint, I can tell you that. No. Okay, 18. It's a big old canvas, though. It is a big old canvas. You are now at 20 ounces. Okay. I'm just gonna finish off. Doing yeah, doing your layers. layers. Like an onion.
I have that Rihanna song stuck in my head right now. Lay is like an onion by Rihanna. No. Shine bright like a diamond. For some reason, I'm not sure. So there some beautiful is layers. your layered jug. Yeah, excited about this. All right. Okay. So do you flow extend or do you... I am going to put a flow extender on it, yes. Okay. So I have my flow extender right here. Probably gonna have to use this entire cup to get over this canvas, but uh, if you may, if I may, sir, ask you kindly to provide me with my hefty tool here. I love this thing right here. It's an omelet flipper, actually, if you can believe that. But we use it here for spreading out the paint on my canvas here at Massey Art Studios. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to elevate my canvas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we did just have a quick conversation around whether it was totally necessary to completely flood the flood canvas. canvas. My, my comment is that it probably isn't. You could have just done one way. However, will it have a negative impact? Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, but we don't know if you actually need to cover the whole canvas. Yeah. Okay. I like covering the whole canvas. Myself. Yeah, because then you don't have to do it again. I get yeah. it. It makes sense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my jug right here. We are ready to go. Yes. <sighs> 10 out of 10 on the yes. dismount. It came out really pretty. All right. Torching time? Torching time. All right, guys, now I'm going to move this pot. Okay, I'm seeing really pretty designs all along the, the sides here. And I am going to stretch it, I think, really gently back and forth this way up to that way to open the wings up and then stretch it down this way, I think. So. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> well, is it tilting time? It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. It's angel wing tilting time. Go for it. If somebody told me that love wasn't real, what kind of a 
feel and am I starting to feel when I want you so why are Wow guys, this is like the first time I've done one of these and I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of besides myself. The lines in this are just so beautiful. Holy moly, the lines are beautiful. Yeah. Especially like this area right here. The, like if this was a tree, it'd be like a thousand years old from all those lines you've got in it. It's yeah, stunning. It's so crazy, right? Yeah. And I thought the white was going to be more predominant in this, and there's only like one little blending of it right there. But what's happened with the white, it's mixed with the turquoise phalo and then made a brighter blue. You mean the bluish green? The bluish green, sorry. It <laughs> looks like the turquoise phalo. But yeah, it's beautiful, baby. I love yeah. it. I'm loving this part all the way. Yeah, it's here. stunning. Yeah. Well, that's me done, you guys. I right. hope you really like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's take them in for a close-up. Let's up. take you guys in for a close-up. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Wowzers McTrousers, show pony. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know you didn't do an awful lot of research going into that angel wing, but I'll tell you, you should just never do any research ever again if you just can <laughs> wing a paw like that and it come out looking as stunning as it did. The lines that you got on that paw were so crazy. I am like overjoyed with that paw for oh, you. It was you. beautiful. All right, peeps, so what am I gonna do? Well, I've got exactly the same size canvas as the show pony, and I'm going to do two wandering ring paws straight down this canvas on either side and then stretch this bad boy out. But I am using 
TLPs. That is right, this little piggy pigments right here. I've got these two wonderful colours that I'm going to be using in a cacophony of really awesome colours that I've got on the table. This one is cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon's my stripper name. Jeremy's stripper name. <laughs> and we've got a tail feather. So these two pigments here have been mixed into these two wonderful pots of colour. Um, stunning. I hope you can see that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. Thank you to the TLP gals for making such wonderful, amazing colours. And these can be purchased at fluid-art.co, where you'll be able to get your hands on all of those pigments. All right, so what colours am I going to put with those wonderful pigments? Okay, so let me tell you. I have Amsterdam's Turquoise. And I've got Amsterdam's Phalo Blue. Love those. And then I have my Golden's Payne's Grey, which Jeremy just used. I'm just going to use a little bit of whatever's left. Yes. And I've got Golden's Green Gold. Ooh. Love that one. And then I've got the Liquitex Basics White mixed with the Colour Shift, mixed with some of the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels that's going to help give me some really wonderful, beautiful cell action, some of those big bold cells. And then I've got Deco Art Metallics. Look at this bad boy. This is sterling silver in a 16 fluid ounce pot. Love this colour. So sterling silver here in a big, big bad boy. Yeah. Love it. If you'd like to get your hands on some We Are Affiliates, you can go to our description box and there you go. There you go, show pony. Well done. Exactly, exactly that. But I am just really excited to be using these pigments and seeing what's going on with these because yes. um, we're excited about a secret, secret recipe that Mina Villegas will be airing on Sunday, which is what I've used in order to get these colours in this pot. So the show pony just said, well, how did you mix these colours? Well, I can't tell you because it is a secret. <laughs> but on Sunday, if you go and watch Mina's episode, she will show you how she's mixed them and that's exactly how I I've mixed them to get them into this cup. So, yes, excitement abound. All right, so I'm going to do wandering ring pours along this canvas and I'm going to use my 16 ounce jug and I'm going to layer it twice. Yes. So there's going to be a lot of paint on this canvas, definitely more than I need, but you know what? I like more. More is more. <laughs> Excess is, is definitely the middle name here on Massey Art Studios. So that's what I'm going to do. Am I going to do that? No, I'm not. Change my mind. Okay. I've just changed my mind. You did? Yeah, I did. You know, as I was thinking about this, I've actually decided that what I'm going to do instead is two straight pours. Oh, okay. Because I really enjoyed my last straight pour and wrecking it. And I might do that again. Yeah. But I've got a really beautiful canvas, so I'm going to do a straight pour here and a straight pour here. Okay. And then and then I'm going to wreck the two together. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do, show pony. That sounds amazing. Is that okay? That's okay. It's all right that I've just changed my mind literally this second. Yes. Because another reason is because I really, really love these colours and I think they'll work really well in a straight pour. Yeah, definitely. All right. So I'm going to still layer this jug twice, probably not go all the way up to the top to 16 ounces, but I'm going to straight pour one, straight pour another. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, Shopony. So as I put my TLPs into this jug, I'm going to shout them out for you so that you can see them. But I am going to start with a little bit of the white and satin and enamels mix, just a little bit down in the bottom of the jug. Scandalous. <laughs> no scandal there at all, but okay. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with some of the phalo blue. All right, here's my first TLP. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Just a little bit to start off with, but I'm going to do some healthier layers a bit later on. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Let's put that next to some of the panes. All right, let's go with some silver. That's a beautiful silver. It is. Uh, then the green gold. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm mixing this bad boy up. I guess. Let's put that next to a little bit of the satin enamels. And then let's go in with the other TLP. It's tail feather. Come on, let me see you shake your tail feather. That's a beautiful color. It really is, right? Okay, we haven't got turquoise in here yet, so let's put that in now. A little bit of my blue dropped in it, which is okay, because I'm gonna go in with the blue next. All right. Is that phalo blue? That's phalo blue, it is phalo blue. That's a bit more silver. This time I'm gonna put it next to a bit of white. Scandalous. 
There's no scandal there. <laughs> <laughs> Bit more green gold. Okay, 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 okay. All right, bit more of the blue. Bit more cinnamon. Healthier layer this time. Okay, you got you got that. some thin layers there. I have got some thin layers. I was looking for thin layers because this is a straight pour. All right, let's put a bit more white on the either side of that panes. Let's go in with the tail. No, not tail feather just yet. First, let's do some of the turquoise. Then let's do some tail feather. The testy turquoise. Right. And then let's finish it off with some Prussian. Okay, so this is all I'm gonna do. Not Prussian, some phalo. This is my first jug layered. Right, I'm gonna layer my other cup off camera so that I've got them both ready to pour when I'm done. Okay. So let's do that one next. All right, so it might appear today that I don't know what I'm doing and I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely changing my mind up as we go along here, but I am now settled on two ring two straight pours onto this canvas yes. and that's exactly what i'm going to do now i'm going to pour two puddles of the satin enamels pearl white color shift mix and that's what i'm going to straight pour into then i'm going to put a flow extender so i don't need to actually cover this canvas right now but i will flow extend this one out all right, show pony, are you ready for me? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna do this one first. Sure. And I'm gonna straight pour this one onto the canvas. One down and one to go. Let's straight pour this one onto the canvas. Wow, I really need to practice my dismounts because both of them were pretty terrible. So let's fix them now. Okay, let's fix this one. And this one. All right, show pony. I am going to take the Sarah Mac chopstick. Yes. And I'm going to wreck this one. Yes. Now you'll notice I've still not put a base coat down yeah. and that's because I don't want to drag any of the base coat color into this right. one. I do want to just, I want to wreck this one dry. Right. So let's do it. Pretty. 
Well, I guess time will tell. Okay, let's torch this one. Oh no, let's get the flow extender down first and then we'll torch it sure. off. All right, so base coat is down. I have just torched it. I'm looking at my composition. So I definitely prefer my first jug, the left side to the right side. So I'm probably gonna try and keep more of this composition on the canvas. But as I stretch this one out, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen. Right? So first things first, I'm gonna try and just anchor, or, or not anchor actually, trying to get as much of this composition all over the canvas. Then I'll anchor it, and then we'll get to tilting it out. So, show pony. Yes. It is. Tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's do this. Be the heat, be what I'd say. Go ahead, go and breathe your fire. Shake it down, shake it to my core Go ahead, go and give me more Yeah, anyone will love a good boy, good boy And it takes one to tell us bad girl, bad, bad girl Yeah, all you really want's a good girl, good girl And all I really crave is bad boy, bad, bad boy Dynamite, you're loving my 3 a.m. mind We can do it right, we can do it right So there you have it, folks. All right, so you saw what I did there, right? Even though I'm sure I sped this up by two or by four, but that second cup, I didn't like. It did not go with what happened on the left-hand side. And that was my fault for rushing through layering that second cup. I should have just breathed and kind of took my time and kind of really thought about it. But I am not mad about that because what it allowed me to do was stretch out this first cup because yeah. that was just over 16 ounces of paint, so it was more than I needed. What I can absolutely see on this canvas is the cinnamon, which is really stunning. That's the TLP yeah. color coming through there. And I can even see the tail feather, which is, which is the oh, colors yeah. right here. And then every one of the other colors. I love it. I'm, I'm really pleased with this one. And I love the big kind of thick lines that I've got next to the wavy lines, which kind of look a little bit like seaweed a little I, bit. I love this. I would love to see it resined and hanging on our walls. So, Ooh, wow. Yeah, somebody's gonna have a fight to, to buy this one if they if they want it. Well, show pony, I'll do you a good deal on it, so don't worry about it. I'll, I'll do the friends and family discount I'll for you. It. Well, I love it too, folks, so why don't I do this? I'm gonna get my edges and then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Thank you, everyone.
is that piece behind us, you may well be asking. It's not something that we've done. I don't know if you can see this because the sun will be glaring on it, but it's actually a really awesome piece from a very famous um, Los Angeles-based stencil artist. Yes. And it's actually Gene Kelly singing in the rain with lots of paint drips on it. It's really cool. Um, so, there you have it. There you have it. What did you think, Jeremy? Let me fawn over your angel wing for oh, a moment. Thank you very much. Stunning. I hope that this episode captures those amazing lines that you created wow, on you. this angel wing paw. The whole point of an angel wing is, is two things. First off, to create those lines and also to kind of create the, the, the uh, composition that kind of looks like a pair of angel's wings. And I think you got both of them. Oh wow. Definitely the lines on there. Um, stunning. Oh, thank you very much. What did you think? I liked it. I thought it was really interesting. I thought the lines were really the lines were really <laughs> defined. Um, I was I yeah. I was very shocked at how so it came modest. out. So. I kind of liked. <laughs> um, I loved it. I think it's one of my favorite paws of yours forever. Like oh, if, if, you. if I took a square inch of that piece and then measured, like counted how many lines there are, there's like 6,000 of them. It was really, 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 really cool and really fun to watch you do it. And I've edited some TikTok videos and I've thrown some stuff up on Insta Instagram and it's just a really, really pretty paw. Oh, thank you. Well done. What about your TLP? Hmm. Now, I will admit to not knowing what the heck I was doing for this paw. Like, I just didn't really, I couldn't see it in my head. So, I thought I was gonna do wandering straight paws, then I kind of toyed with ring paws and then ended up with two straight paws on the canvas. I layered my one cup for you, and then I rushed the other cup, and I wasn't he thinking did. about how I was layering it. I didn't think about it. I was just putting colors in and hated it. So tilted pretty much 98% oh, yeah. of it off the canvas. Now luckily I had 16, 17 ounces of paint in the jug. So it was more than enough to, to cover that canvas plus a flow extender. So nothing was overstretched, but I loved the end composition. Oh my God, the end was amazing. I loved it. You can see cinnamon in there and you can absolutely see, see tail feather. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that these are going to dry as well as I think they will. And if they do, what I'm going to say to Mean of the Legacy is, by George, you've got it. <laughs> and maybe that is an, a really, really great recipe for mixing TLP pigments to use them in acrylic pouring. There's no house paint. There's no 16 different kind of things that you need to do this. It's just two ingredients. So, fingers crossed guys that it dries well. I will show it to you, but Mina is also going to show you a pour that she used that exact same recipe on on Sunday. Nice. And I've seen it and it's drying like a charm. So yeah, hopefully this is something fun that you're going to be able to do now with pigments. No house paint and they're pigments on their own. They're not mixed with acrylic paints. Yeah. So 81 more colours for us in the studio. Right, that's Cause, amazing. Because that's how many pigments there are. Um, Alright guys, please, please, please go check out the pigments at fluid-art.co. Um, you've got us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and here on the tubes. You can go and use our affiliate code for Blick, for Deco Art, and for Arteza, where you'll get a 10% discount. Yeah. And if you use our affiliate code for the Paint Paul store, you'll get a 15% discount off all their products, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. And then we've also got our merch too. So a million ways for you to like have fun and get involved with us here at the studio. Not only all that, and then the Patreon site too. So listen guys, we appreciate you being here. We thank you for liking and subscribing. Go check us out on, your, on the other social medias and share wherever you can. And we will be back on Sunday. Yes. In the premiere train for another pour. Oh my God, I'm so excited about Sunday's train. I am excited too. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I'm excited, because we've already poured it. So <laughs> I know what it is, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right guys, you have a great Friday evening. Um, please take care, drink responsibly and have fun. And feral arts, I will have another margarita. Right. All right guys, we'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye. Bye guys. And now to spank the Patreons.
spank the Patreons. Yeah, who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our Gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level, right? Who is Susan Shepherson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level, and you all know her lover, <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you guys.